Hi everyone, it's Wine Wednesday. Welcome back to my channel. So I've got one of my Halloween glasses. Got a little Halloween party going on behind me, even though, yeah, it's just me and my zombies. But, uh, yeah, what's going to be in my glass this week? Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. To my viewers, my subscribers, thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you would please hit that little red subscribe button over there before you go. I'd love to have you come back and join me for future videos. Today we are doing Wine Wednesday. And it's uh, October, so we are in full Halloween mode. Love this time of year. Uh, air is so crisp outside. The leaves are starting to change. Getting cooler during the, the days and nights. It's like 67 right now, and it feels wonderful. It's kind of like a warm breeze going through. Because, you know, sometimes back here, the wind howls. The wind howls back here. Don't know why. But anyway, so today we are doing a wine that I actually bought last Halloween. Um, last Halloween I got that uh, kind of like advent calendar box for Halloween from Sip and Savor. And right after I ordered it, I just started reading all these horrible, horrible reviews about people that never got their product, they never got reimbursed, so I was really kind of nervous. So I went out and I bought two Halloween themed wines, which I didn't need because Sip and Savor, they were awesome. I got my box and yeah, I was happy. And so anyway, they've just kind of been sitting around waiting for me. So this year I thought, you know what, we're going to do one. So we are going to have this Phantom wine. This one is a red blend. I also have a Chardonnay that I'll do later this month. And it's got that kind of like augmented reality thing. And I couldn't get it to really work on my phone. But I will put it in here somewhere because there are people that posted it where you put that app on your phone and then you put it over this and the label kind of comes to life. It's, um, I could see it, I just couldn't get it to record. So we're going to do that. Fleeting glimpses of a figure emerge, then vanish, taunting you. You hear and see things that have no explanation. It's the phantom that haunts our cellar. Why do these things always happen when you are alone? So this one is the red blend. This one is from 2017. I've also got some snacks because you're not going to have no snacks, right? So I've just kind of kept it simple. So I had bought some shrimp last week and so I got some bacon and I wrapped it around the shrimp and then baked it. First I kind of pre-cooked the bacon, right? And then just stuffed it and wrapped it around. I actually got the frozen RB curly fries. So I got that, and these are little empanada things, type things. I've never seen them before, so looking <coughs> excited to try them out. Sorry about that. Not exactly sure what to dip it in. So I've got some sour cream, I've got some salsa, and I've got my Hidden Valley Ranch over here. And this is what those empanadas look like. And again, these are just from Target. So it's beef and jalapeno, so I figured they should have a lot of flavor right and then of course we've got our 31 days of Halloween for our dessert at the end so let's get started shall we so I didn't pre-open this but got my handy dandy opener right here I've got my ghoulish friends behind me again and I did go downstairs again today and who would think I would have put my Halloween nutcrackers away with the Halloween decorations? Yeah, that's no wonder I couldn't find them in my Christmas ones. So anyway, I got the Day of the Dead characters. I got a skeleton, and then I got my wine bottle over there with some decorations on it. Alrighty. And it smells divine. 
So it's a nice deep red. I got one of my Halloween glasses. These are just so much fun. The skeleton hand. Oh, it smells fruity. It smells like jam, like like a blackberry jam. Maybe some plum. Alrighty. Cheers, everyone. Maybe mocha. Yeah, mocha. Alrighty. Cheers, everyone. Mm. This has got a nice body to it. So um, I'm going to say medium to full body. You can taste the tannins. Um, maybe a cross between oak and cedar again that it was aged in. Kind of like a, almost like a graphite type aftertaste. I don't, I think that's what I'm experiencing here. But I taste like chocolate. I taste like black berry, some plum. And again, it's nice and dry, but not so dry that it just dries you out so that you can't talk. I'm just having another sip to confirm. Cheers, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Getting to be my almost favorite day of the week. Cheers. Mm. Really, really good. So anyway, it's stashed. And actually for these, I cut like a bacon strip in half. And then I just kind of baked it a little bit in the oven to kind of pre-cook it. And then I took my raw shrimp and wrapped it around it. And uh, just baked it till it looked like it was done. Hmm. Mmm. It's perfect. I really hate talking with my mouth full, so I will be right back. So anyway, I think the wind is starting to pick up and it does feel nice. That was excellent. And I forgot to mention, while my bacon was kind of pre-cooking in the oven, I put a little bit of olive oil um, in a little dish. I put in the shrimp. I sprinkled them. Um, squeezed the lemon to get some lemon juice in there and then I used my Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning poured that over there kind of let that marinade a bit while the bacon was cooking pre-cooking and yeah so it's got that nice flavor and I probably have black stuff in between my teeth from the big pepper chunks that are in there but it's got the garlic if you've ever got the bay that um, Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning it is so good with these poppy seeds. But yeah, it's really good. Nice and garlicky. The lemon gives it a little bit of zing. So that was fun. Alrighty, so while I was waiting to swallow that, I broke open one of these empanadas. And we'll just hold up one. So this looks like kind of like chopped beef in there. It's got supposed to be a jalapeno popper in there. I'm going to take the smaller side. And I'm going to dip it in my salsa and sour cream. Mmm. That is good. It's got some nice flavor to it. Not, nothing really special. I mean, I would probably buy it again because it's an easy little snack. And... Let's try one of these. Arby's curly fries. Yeah, I, I grabbed the right bag this time. I'm gonna dip it in my Hidden Valley Ranch. A little curly cue. Good. And I just cooked the empanada and the onion rings in my little air fryer so it didn't have any added oils or anything like that. The bacon I did in the toaster oven. And then when I put the shrimp in it, I did it in the toaster oven too, so I didn't have the oven on too long. And let's do my 31 days of Halloween. So, I think I'm looking for number four. I see a five. And four. Okay. And it's the Butterfinger. Can't quite get it out. 
fun size Butterfinger. So again, this is the 31 Days of Halloween. My $31 donation went to the Children's Miracle Children's Hospital, Miracle Network Hospitals. And I got this awesome admin calendar for some candy for Halloween. And anyway, happy Wednesday, everybody. I hope your week is going well. We are halfway through the week. It's a nice time of year. I love this time of year. So anyway, cheers, everyone. I hope that everyone goes out, has a great rest of the week. And thank you guys so much for spending some time with me. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Alrighty, I forgot to show you my Halloween dress. So it's just a little stretchy dress. We got some ribs on the top and just some Halloween decorations, some skeleton kitty cats, a little bow right here. Just having a little bit of Halloween fun.